Come on, hurry it up. I'll bet it's worth a hundred thousand if it's worth a dime. Come on, start moving. Give me that bar. There's Joe. He's done for. Step on it. There's Pete. That's all. All? Oh, that's the fifth robbery we've had since March. Wait till the chief hears about this. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Silk robbery on Desert Express near Wet Springs. Apparently done by a gang with trucks. Brakeman shot. Patrol all roads in that area. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. No robbery on Desert Express. The 
other trucks got through okay, we'll all meet at Mike's place in about an hour. Yeah. You're taking them curves kind of fast, ain't you, Frank? So what? If you don't like it, you can get out and walk. Hey, quit beeping, will you? We're doing okay. <laughs> I told you not to go so fast. Ah, oh, shut up. We're lucky to be alive. Hey, listen. That sounds like a truck coming. Maybe it's Mac and the boys. Hey, Mac. He wouldn't be on this road. We're using the truck anyhow. You guys duck out of sight. I'll flag him down. Sure glad to be getting home. Them rodeos kind of tucker me out. <laughs> Old age creeping up on him. <laughs> Is that so? Let me tell you something, young fella. My rattling bones didn't keep him winning some of that prize money. We did all right. <laughs> well, I don't see why we had to hightail it out of town the minute it was over. We did it, my little man, to keep you from blowing your prize money on that blonde. You know, the one with the gimme eyes. Yeah, the one you thought was so cute. Say, what's that up ahead? What's the matter, stranger? Hey, there's a guy hurt down here. Give me a hand, will you, fellas? Why, sure. Say, you did crack up. Hey, where's your pal? Under there. Reach for it. Stay where you are. OK, Frank, come on out. Take that gun, Fluffy. That was swell, Joe. They fell for it like a ton of bricks. Say, what is this? Your funeral, if you're not careful. OK, it's your show. What's the setup? They're using your truck to move our stuff. Oh, and leave us high and dry, I suppose. Not a chance. You're going to load your truck and then drive us where we're going. Where are you going? You'll find out. Silk thieves, huh? We ain't dressmakers. Get busy. What about our horses? They're riding, too, just so it'll look legitimate. Pretty smart, eh? Right. I think of everything. Get going. We haven't got all day. All set. OK, get rolling. Which way? The same way you were going. Straight ahead for Cosmopolis. Sit down. Those nags start kicking up, I'll let you have it. Stand by for further bulletins on the Desert Express robbery. That is all.
What a month. Boy, are we glad to see you. Search him. Hey, take it easy. We're not armed. That's right, they're not. Look inside the truck. The other two are hit. We were only doing a drive. You're under arrest. We're not the men you want. These two are dead. Take care of them. What's up, officer? I'm holding these men as suspects in the Desert Express robbery. And these are the men that killed Henley. That's why they tried to shoot it out and make their getaway. Well, you're crazy. The men you killed are the real crooks. They held us up and we can prove it. Passing the buck, eh? Come on, we're taking you in. But you've got to listen. We'll listen plenty at the trial. Why not try them right now? We've got a jury here. Yeah, I'm trying to make it easy, boys. I don't want any rough stuff. Stand back. The law will deal with them. We're the law and you better step aside. I'm warning you. Stay back. I'll shoot the first one that lays a hand on these men. You'll just have to shoot, Jed. Come on, men. Now, wait a minute, boys. Listen a minute. All right, boys, start reaching. Drop those guns. Hey, Tucson, drill those tires. Move back. Alibi. Sling them. You're making a mistake, young fella. I'd make a worse one if I hung around here for a necktie party. Well, get your truck started. I'll hold them. Good day, gentlemen. They can't get far. I've got a two-way radio in my car. Fine, Mets, we're in now. Why didn't you keep cool? Oh, I realize I made a mistake. I should have kept cool. Let them hang you. We might have stood trial. Yeah, in another minute, we'd have been standing on air. How about a lullaby? Don't ask me. I'm just here for the ride. Well, Brains, what now? Well, we've got to round up that gang that engineered this robbery. It's the only way we can clear ourselves. Oh, so there's a gang now, huh? Well, there must be. The crooks we met could have engineered this alone. That makes sense to me. OK, where do we start looking? Where they're heading for, Cosmopolis. Well, I'm going to saddle up, just in case. Make it snappy, boys. We're not waiting for the other truck. OK. Come on, Pete. Right. Joe and his boys ought to be along any minute, Mac. I'll check them right on through. Right. What can I do for you? Fill her up. Hey, can I use your phone? Sure, right inside. Thanks. How about Tucson? Oh, let him sleep. Get the gas, Mark. Where's the phone, bud? Right over there. Thanks. Uh, long distance, please. I want John Harker in the Harker building, Mesquite. What's that? Redwood, 131. OK. She'll call us back in a few minutes. We'll have to wait. Hey, buddy, got any more of that coffee? Yeah, I have to sell. Well, if I were in luck. Yes, me, we're in a jam. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll get in touch with Harker. He'll identify us. That'll make everything OK. Attention, please, flash. Latest news on the Desert Express robbery. Sheriff Benton reports running gun battle with six trained bandits near Storm Mountain. Three bandits killed. Three others escaped. In large truck containing stolen silk cargo and three saddle horses. License number B47832. We repeat, B47832. Stop this truck, but approach right. with caution. These right. men are armed. Attention, please. Flash. Something for Latest me. News on the we gotta find out just what the setup is. 
Why don't you take care of the guy in the truck? Why don't you come over with me? Three bandits killed. Three others escaped. In a large truck containing stolen silk cargo and... Thanks for the coffee. License number B47832. Stop this truck, but approach with caution. These men are armed. Take a gun, Hank. Now listen, Mr. Wick. What do you think I've been doing? Get over there. Tie him up. Say, Philip, you ought to collect a reward when the sheriff hears about this. I wouldn't start spending that money if I were you. Take that gun, Stoney. Get him. Pretty smart hombres, ain't you? Smart to let you collect a reward on the wrong men. What do you mean? Just this. You can tell the sheriff for us that we're not the men they want. Yeah, go on. The real crooks wrecked their own truck. Then they held us up and made us carry their swag. And that's what happened. Huh? Yeah, that's what happened. Look out, Tucson! <laughs> Population, 3,000. Sounds like a right healthy community. Let's go take a look at it. Nothing doing. Not with 3,000 bloodhounds looking for it. All right, Creepfanger. So I'll go take a look. You two stay here. If anybody goes, it'll be lullaby. I want you where I can keep my eyes on you. Hey, there! Let's go. What are you running for? Look. <laughs> uh, say, listen, I wonder if you boys would lend me a hand. You see, we've had a little accident up the road. Uh, my uh, truck broke down and... Uh, <laughs> where have we heard that before? I suppose you blew a tire and crashed off the road. Oh, no. No, no, no. You see, some faulty mechanism has uh, caused the gasoline to escape. He speaks English. I'm sorry, mister. We're in a hurry. I reckon you'll just have to look after your own truck. 
Oh, well, I know, but, uh, uh, boys, you see, I have a son and a daughter that, uh, did you say uh, daughter? <clears throat> Uh, yes, yes. Uh, surely you wouldn't leave a young lady stranded. Why, no, we couldn't do that. So I, I guess we'll have to help him. Uh, <laughs> where's your truck? Uh, uh, where? Oh, it's just up the bend a little bit. Uh, you boys are certainly very kind indeed. Uh, What's your racket, brother? Uh, uh, racket? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, uh, Gentlemen, permit me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Algernon Irving. Of the college, the Atlantic College, I may say. Uh, the Atlantic College of Medicine and Psychological Research. Uh, that is formally. But recently, my friends, the inventor, the discoverer, and the marketer of Irving's famous tonic. My friends, I don't care what's wrong with you. If you've got rheumatism, lumbago, sciatica, fallen arches, dandruff. Listen, this remedy, my friends, has been used by all the deadheads, or at least I meant to say bald heads, uh, crowned heads of Europe, my friends. It'll cure you. I don't care what's wrong with you. You can have sinus trouble, you can have lumbago, sciatic, rheumatism, gout, aches and pains. Irving's remedies, my friends, are a guaranteed cure for all human ailments, such as... Um, we haven't got it. Let's get going. Oh, you have? Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, of course. But uh, you gentlemen are certainly doing me a very great favor. Uh, your, your livery, son, you know that, don't you? Now, it's just up the road, just a bit here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting awfully tired of playing Boy Scout. Guess we'll have to tow you. Come on in there, buddy. Your troubles are over. Hey! Well, what do you think you're doing? Well, I'm awfully sorry. I, I thought you were him. <laughs> uh, uh, allow me to rectify the error, gentlemen. Uh, this is my daughter, Madge. It's a pleasure. <laughs> oh, uh, this is my boy, Timothy, here. All right. Uh, and uh, your names, gentlemen? Uh, oh, just call us the three musketeers. Musketeers? Oh, what do you do, a song and dance or, or a dumb act? Why, you know, sis, they're like the three musketeers I read about. One for all and all for one. Yeah, all for one. The nearest town is Cosmopolis. We'll tell you there. We're not going to Cosmopolis. Why not? Have you forgotten that we're wanted men? We'll join up with this outfit. They never think to look for us in the medicine show. Yeah, but... I'll yeah. handle it. Hey, Lullaby, get out Elmer. Prof? Uh, a doctor? Oh, I was just thinking, entering into a thriving town like Cosmopolis, you should have an added attraction. Uh, yes, I know, and but... And here it is, my pals and me. Hmm? Uh, you don't mean to tell me that you, uh, uh, you boys are performers. Exhibition writers. We just won a lot of prize money in a Cheyenne rodeo. Uh, cash prizes? Well, I took in 500 in a bronc riding contest. Well, my goodness. How interesting. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, lullaby. Come on up. Now, Lullaby here has an act that's a sensation. I lay him in the aisle, right in the aisle. <laughs> oh, boy, can I hold him? Sure. Careful, Sonny, I bruise easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, my goodness, a, a ventriloquist, eh? Uh, you know, my dear, I feel that I should foster budding talent. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure that you and your friends will prove a valuable addition to our little company. In fact, I might even consider taking you into partnership. Uh, uh, but, of course, we'll discuss that later. Well, thanks, Doc. Hey, how about getting out of here? Uh, Timothy, take good care of Elmer. I will. <laughs> he will. He'll watch out for him. Likely prospects, my dear. Very likely. They are. People. Search me. Why don't you solo? I'm afraid you're not going to. Well, I certainly don't understand this. My goodness, look at all these deserted buildings. Huh? Like an oil town that boomed out. A modern ghost town. Golly, I don't want to see any ghosts. I'm hungry. Well, let's look around, and uh, maybe we can find some grub. That's an idea. You stay here, Hawksha. Well, 
I don't think we're going to find anything to eat in this place. No. Howdy, folks. Oh, hello there. Just passing through? Yes, my friends ran out of gas. They're afraid we ain't got any of that. But if you'd uh, like to have a bite to eat? <laughs> Would we? <laughs> oh, boy. We're starved. Well, I reckon I can fix you up with that if you just come along with me to the cafe. Well, say, now, that's very kind of you, my good man. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Glad to help you out. It's uh, just down here still. Oh, yes. Well, thanks. Well, here would be. He's very fancy, but <laughs> I like it. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. We're going to eat. Quiet, Elmer. Sit right down, folks. We ain't got such a lot to choose from, but what we have is good. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> yes, sir. <coughs> what do you say to some nice thick sticks? Oh, 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 oh. Make mine rare. Mine plenty big. Just smother mine with onion. Yeah, I'm afraid we're plumb out of taters. But we got some nice fresh coffee. And Wong Fu is just take one of his apple pies. Well, sir, that sounds perfect, my friend. Yes, sir. Food for the gods. Hmm? I'm so hungry I could eat a ghost. Try it on both sides. Quiet, Elmer. Listen, Elmer. Whenever that food comes in, don't eat too much. You never see me make a hog of myself. No, you're already one. Wait, <laughs> <coughs> fool! I want you to meet some of our guests. I want you to take these folks' as orders. <laughs> hey, Wang Fu is one of the best cooks in the country. <laughs> yes, sir, I, I've had him with me for years. Wang Fu, cook up some of them steaks now and hurry. <laughs> yeah, these, these folks is hungry. Yeah, and we're gonna stay hungry. I'm afraid you're right, Elmer. I knew it. Yes, sir, I knew it. Well, eat honey, folks. If you'll excuse me. Hey, hey, just a minute. Have you seen any mining trucks around here lately? Mining trucks? Yeah. You mean with them big double wheels? Yeah, that's right. Painted gray? Did you see one like that? Yeah. Now, let me see. Fine, it's a long go. Round five, six, maybe near seven. Yep. One of them big gray trucks drove through here about uh, seven years ago. I... Never mind. Just let it go. <laughs> Plum slug nutty. Yes, yes, indeed. You're clearly a psychopathic case. Elmer, I'm ashamed of you. Must have been something I had. I'm hungry. I, I want to eat. Well, I want to get out of here. Well, we'll ride to the next town and get some gas and groceries. Wait a minute. Three of us in town at one time would be too much of a coincidence. Hey, that's right. Uh, you and Lullaby go. Why us? Well, the uh, folks will have to stay in the hotel tonight. I just thought that I could get them settled. Mm -hmm. You would. Well, let's see what the inside of this hotel looks like, huh? Yes, sure, that's a good idea. Come on, Kimini, hurry up. So long, Wong. those trucks and come up here. But El Paso's in a hurry for the silk. You heard me. Stop loading. Okay, you're the boss. Take it easy, boys. Relax. Mm -hmm. Spot it, Chief. Take a look down the street.
Hey, them's the three cowboys that stopped at my place yesterday. I thought they answered your description. There's $5,000 award offer for them birds, dead or alive. Let's take them. Wait. I've got a better plan. You drive over to Canyon Spring, tell the sheriff that you happened to come through Cosmopolis and spot him. Yeah, but suppose them other two don't come back. Don't worry, they'll come back. But they couldn't find a safer place to hide than a ghost town like this. Notifying the sheriff makes us good law-abiding citizens and adds 5,000 to the treasury. I get it. I'll get going right away. everything but the gas. Fat, homely, nutcracker jaw, squint eye. Look, say, who the heck do you think they're talking about? It's forgery, or uh, larceny. What you saying? Perjury, that's what it is. Why, he ain't a bad-looking hombre at all. Him. And he's a real upstanding, intelligent-looking man. And he ain't fat, neither. He's just uh, a little muscle-bound. You know him? Uh, no, uh, but I seen him once. Better keep your eyes peeled. Maybe you can nab off that reward. Give me a gallon of gasoline, partner. Sonny, here's your money. I reckon you could use that reward money. Yes, indeedy. And get a lot of pleasure out of stringing them up. Huh? I say, hanging's too good for them. Oh. <laughs> what are you made up for? You've got to spray them. The town's plastered with the reward notices. There they are, Sheriff. Hey, you two! Come on, Sheriff! Shell's calling us with a posse. Here's your groceries. Get back in the hotel. What's happened? Never mind. Get back in the hotel.
full shave. An old trick, but it comes in handy. Yeah, well, let's give the horses a breather. Maybe one of you birds will tell me just how this picnic started. Blasted. Shattered. Utterly shattered my faith in human nature. And to think that I trusted them desperados. Five thousand dollars. I suppose it was their horses that ran out of gas. I'll get the suitcases. All right. Hey, now listen here, my dear child. You realize that we might have been slaughtered by them desperados and our bones left a bleach out on the desert wastes? Oh, stop acting, Pa. Why, they were decent and kind to us. Risked their lives to get us provisions. And I don't care what the sheriff said. I don't believe they're criminals. Neither do I, sis. I think they're swell. Uh, my children both take after me. They're too trusting. Five thousand dollars. <clears throat> oh, well. Show our faces long enough to put in a phone call to our lawyers. Oh, stop being so cheerful. All right, wise guy. Suppose you tell me how we're going to get out of this jam. It's too early in the morning. How do you reckon that fella Phillips happened to tip off the sheriff that we was in Cosmopolis? Why don't you ask me an easy one? Hey, fellas, there's a truck coming. <laughs> That truck looks like the same kind those silk thieves were driving when they held us up. Hey, there's another truck. There's a dog chasing it. Skin police dog. You're right, it is. And that's Phillips driving. Let's find out why that dog's chasing Phillips. Come on.
Come on, get out of there. Come on, Hawkshaw. You fellas got here just in time. Uh huh, so did Hawkshaw. You know that crazy fella? Well, he ain't crazy after all. He's the leader of the silk robbers. He went ahead in that other truck. If we want to clear ourselves, he's the man we got to get. Hey, Lullaby, take care of Phillips, will you? Tucson, let's get that other truck. Jimmy, I got an idea. Come on, big boy. Stop them is to plug their tires. Close two cowboys, step on. They got a tire.
right where you are. Where have you boys been? Why? 